Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Court here. All right. It's going to be for Aries. Week one of May 2021. <laughs> 2021. All right. Let's see where. Let's see where you guys are at. Fire, fire, fire. Aries, week one, current energy, Aries. Okay, you have the Queen of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. I don't know if you're dealing with two people or you got one that's like livid. These are completely two different energies, though. So I don't know if you're dealing with two people. What he or she is feeling about you. Stressed out. What he or she is feeling. Anxiety. Four swords and the fool. I, again, it's, it's not that it's opposite energy, right? But the Nine of Swords talks about stressed out, having a hard time sleeping. You got the Four of Swords going within sleep. Um, I said sleeping. Going within <coughs> thinking. Do I really want this? Do I want that? Do I want this? So someone's stressed out about taking a leap of faith. Walk in a spiritual journey. What you don't see coming. What you don't see coming. Six of Wands reversed. So not a win. Okay. Possible outcome. Or this is somebody's ego going bye-bye. Seven of Pence reversed. Not putting effort into something. One more possible outcome. And then you got the hangman. So you're deciding not to put effort into a situation anymore. Something wasn't growing. Or you're switching up some type of investment. But to me, this has to do with your happiness and outcomes and things growing. You know, being vulnerable. So I don't really necessarily know if it's work per se. It just looks like you're no longer putting in an effort into a situation. You, you're changing your perspective when it comes to something. So let's see your current past. Two years ago, two weeks ago, two hours ago. All right, Ten of Swords. So Ten of Pens reversed at the bottom of the deck. So something's over. Someone feels stabbed in the back, whether this is you or somebody else. Something is just not working, clearly. So... Let's see what this Ten of Swords is about. Ten of Swords for Aries, current past. So the King of Swords. King of Swords feels stabbed in the past or stabbed in the back, or somebody from the past feels stabbed in the back. Three of Wands reversed is no insight, not seeing something clearly. Ships aren't here. This energy is a thinker. But their thoughts are negative. So that's doing nobody no good. So, well, it could have been a situation, a relationship, something, you know, at a distance or, you know, you saw our future and now it's just like, no. Okay. Now you have two women reversed here. If you're feminine watching this, you can go from cold to emotional real quick but I'm just not like that's not the vibe I'm feeling if you're a masculine I don't know if you think this person can go from from that real quick or if you got two women so let's find out what's going on with your current situation because currently you got two women in your situation Okay, yeah, so you have unre unrequited love, okay? You have a situation where somebody's crying over fucking spilt milk and it's a one-sided love. And on top of it, 
the masculine is, you know, upset, emotional. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords. You got you got two women. You were juggling all day. Okay, you got you got one crying over spilt milk, and you got the other one that's basically saying fuck you. It's the Five of Swords. It's games, manipulation, ridiculousness. You were juggling all day. How he or she is feeling about you. So now this is basically saying somebody's stressed out because they want something to work out. Tell me about the King of Swords. I mean, uh, I'm going to be dealing with an Aquarius. King of Swords is over here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Two of Swords. So it, it's like you're not, you're not seeing something. A relationship, a lesson. You're not, you're not picking up on something, or they're not picking up on something. Tell me about the Four of Swords. It, it's like someone's doing absolutely nothing. So it's a, it's a challenge to move forward. Tell me about the Fool, the Wheel. Somebody wants something to go in someone's direction, but now you got a Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's again reversed, not feeling a situation. Okay, now you got an empress. Okay, so I, I don't know if there was a marriage or it's like somebody not wanting to, to close the door here. Someone's trying to keep the door open with two women, two men, same sex, whatever this is for you. Someone's trying to keep the door open with two people. Okay, so I don't know if there's a marriage with the empress being here. And then there was somebody else. But this is... This could be all one energy, feeling defeated and bent out of shape, but I don't see it like this. This is like a one-sided situation ship. Someone's crying over freaking spilt milk, and the King of Swords type energy had too many people in the picture. Okay, these are all, all of these are representing too many people. The Five of Swords, Three of Swords, pain, three people. Three of Wands, three people. Five of Cups, crying over the freaking past when there's, there's, there's no need. Okay, now this one's not putting any effort in, but yet still wants to keep the door open or wants something to go in her direction. You know, comes in wanting to be vulnerable here and there, you know, trying to give, but not a lot, but trying to give because not, not wanting somebody else to go in a direction. So, I, I mean, there's just, there's, it's just bullshit. It's games. Okay. Um, is this lack of ego? I doubt it because somebody wants their cake and they want to eat it too. Tell me about what you don't see coming. So this is somebody like, um, this isn't even a win. Because upright, this would be like victory. It'd win. This to me is like, maybe you don't see it. And one of these women are like, I, I don't know what you thought you were doing. Or I don't know why you thought you were going to be victorious in, this, victorious in this situation. But holy cow. Yeah, see, again, Queen of Wands. Like, f no longer feeling restricted, like tied to a situation. So I don't know if somebody thought they could have it all. Yeah, see, three of pence, too many fucking people. There was no effort put into something, okay? Um, I don't, you know, I don't want to give my personal opinion. Uh, you know, I'm trying to, to, to stay out of that. But honestly... <sighs> What were you thinking? Even if you're moving away, and the Three of Cups isn't even out here, so basically telling me you weren't even dating. You were trying to have your cake and eat it too. And and somebody just wants to keep the damn door open to situations. You know, it's like, oh my gosh. And if there's a relationship, like, these are two kinds of lessons. So I don't know if someone's teaching you a lesson. 
Or if this is a relationship and you're out and you're going to take a spiritual path and you're hoping something's not over. But you need to close a cycle. This all day, these are two kinds of cycles. Trying to keep a door open to too many people. You can't take a spiritual cycle. And it's, I'm going to tell you that as a reader right now. You can't take a spiritual cycle and, and keep a door open to something else. That's bullshit. I'm totally calling you out on your bullshit right now. This is bullshit. This isn't dating. This is wanting to have your cake and eat it too and keeping doors open. And you have an empress energy. This is someone you have children with or this is somebody that you had a long-term relationship with, something, okay? And they're not really putting the effort in or you're not really putting the effort in. But they want to act like they're putting the effort in. And in some way down the road, you thought you were going to win. And you lost somebody, a situation. You could have lost everybody. This one just took themselves out of the equation. They're not feeling stuck, trapped, restricted, nothing. I, um, you are my ninth zodiac that I've done. And I read lots of scenarios. And I'm not going to lie to you as a reader. This is bullshit. That you're doing that to somebody or somebody did that to you. It's bullshit. Okay? So I don't know if now all of a sudden with a possible outcome, you're like, shit, I should have invested and I didn't. And now you're seeing something differently. Maybe because something's dead and gone. But here's the thing. It's, it's not. It's not dead and gone. It, you're still trying to keep a door open. I'm telling you right now, you cannot take a spiritual path. You, you're, you're out of your mind if spirit's going to let you go on a journey and you keep doors open. It's, it's like spirits teaching you a lesson. And until you pick up on it, you're, it's, it's like you're going to stay stagnant, not making a decision, not wanting to see, not wanting to go within, having trouble sleeping. It's almost like being haunted with your own thoughts, your own, your own shit. Do you really think you could have a connection with two people like that? One's crying over spilt milk. One's bent out of shape. And the other one's pissed. Possible welcome. You know, that's, that's trying to figure out, that's trying to figure out your options. Where does your happiness lie? And, and to me, it's like, you don't even know where your happiness lies. Ace of Swords is reversed. You can't even be honest with yourself. If you got a family dynamic with an empress, lies need to be revealed. There's lies. You're keeping your options open. You're keeping your doors open. I, you know, if you're in, in Aries and you're watching this, I, I guess watch the extended and I'll see what what comes in. But this is, I am, I am going to give my opinion. This is bullshit. That you you were put in this situation, or you put other people in this situation. It's like where does your contentment lie? Why are you keeping the doors open? Why are you keeping options open? Why are you trying to have your cake and eat it too? Why do you think you're on a spiritual journey? That irritates me. That's and I'm gonna give my opinion. This is where I got people on my Facebook and I got, I got people on my news feed and it's like, oh, I just did yoga and I'm on this journey. And but that's like delete. I don't even want me on, on, I don't even want you on my page. That's, that's like fake. You don't even know what a journey is. So don't tell yourself you're on a spiritual journey because you're not, you're stuck in karma. I don't know if you wanted somebody else to do your dishes. Somebody is like done. Clean up your own shit. Wow. Ignorant. Ignorant if you thought you could have two people and have your fucking cake and eat it too. Holy shit. Ladies and gents, if you're watching this, I, I am disgusted that somebody even put you in this scenario. What he or she is thinking. What he or she wants to let you know. I lost myself for a little while. No, I think you lost yourself for a whole lot. 
not gonna lie. I bury myself in work to to forget you. Bottom of the deck, I want you. Yeah, you want a lot of things. Good luck with that. I'll wait for a sign. You know, you speak to me through music, so I don't know if you're connected through music, but uh, like this person's waiting for 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 somebody else to reach out. So apparently, you piss somebody off, and there's lack of communication. Goes around, comes around. Unbelievable. Aries. You thought you were going to win. I don't know why. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. Are you waiting for a sign? Well, it's fucking here. So you're just waiting. You're doing nothing. Can't sleep. Not getting out of a situation. Not closing chapters. Not closing cycles. Keeping doors open. If this was done to you, I am incredibly sorry that you just endured even this reading. I'm not going to lie to you. I will see you on Patreon. I love you. Bye, guys.